welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn how to export data to excel or any other format which are available in our sql management studio so here very simply we can export a data from a database required object required object means which table you want or all the tables you want yes on category wise you can export it so let's begin by applying of the wizard for here right click on the database where you want to exporting some data from a table or multiple go to task and export data the last option it is representing so click on export data now select the c click the next option this wizard you will see like uh, import and export wizard so click on next see here the data source which is the data source you need to select from where you are going to be uh, these things are happening so mysql ole db driver for sql server you need to select the mysql ole db driver for sql server very keenly you can observe over here uh, like ole db uh, driver yes provider yes my is microsoft ole db provider for sql server yes provider now the server name by default it will show or else you can put your local server name choose from the box also you can choose if it is there in multiple or else if it is there any any other server you are fetching or importing or exporting doing yes put the server credentials over here okay and you can also connect your database using like a windows authentication or like uh, how you are going to connecting your database same procedure you can follow to fill this data source from where you are trying to getting or exporting okay yeah the next one it is going to be like a uh, sql server authentication i'm giving so yes ya yes ya one two three i'm giving and the database from which database you are going to choosing so this is the web app database only i'm selecting click next yeah additional information login is failing so s a s a 1 2 3 yeah something click next the operation could not be completed s a is not uh, connecting so i'm going with the uh, something wow the provider of uh, this sql server uh, web app is not having enough permissions maybe i'll go with the test db let me check click next yes test db it is going to be accepting yeah maybe the user which is uh, not uh, mapped and uh, not mapping to our like a web app application so you what you need to do we have in a clear granting the permissions to the user check with that user and uh, going to grant the permissions to that particular area so click next connection is a properly not initialized so choosing a destination yes choosing a destination is important yes here you want to make it a microsoft access database or microsoft excel or any other formats like sql script or any wherever you require you can choose for destination i am choosing like a excel yeah as a excel i am choosing and excel path it will ask you okay so the browse on desktop i'm i'm saying that data i'm creating a file data.xls it is creating and excel version you can you have in a facility to choose the version 97 2003 is the default and it will works perfectly so the first row has a column names automatically it will be treated first row on excel sheet it will be treated as a like a column name so click on next yeah copy data from one or more tables or views so views we have written to see in the data so if you are calling a view also you can fetch the data same what you are getting in result set so now like a uh, write a query to also you can specify a specific query also so we i'm getting directly from the table so a uh, first option i'm choosing click next see from the table which table i can try to export yeah let's try to ex uh, like export this example okay so click like uh, you can see the edit mapping if not required you can click next okay this is the query is going to be executing and uh, converting into the use global keywords are going to be uh, performing over there click next and run immediately click next and finish so the query is executing successfully yes it's done everything is done means the execution was successful all the parameters are completed and five rows are transmitted to our excel file 
So close this and minimize. See, this is the data Excel file it is created. Yeah, so wow, the data is here. What the data we have seen like uh, in our database table, we are getting outside in Excel. So beautifully, we did a great job to exporting a data to Excel. Similarly, I would suggest you to practice like uh, more options to like uh, there is a uh, so many options we have seen to exporting the data into your my like uh, access and SQL file so many things dot SQL file also you can do okay step by step you may practice more then you will do a lot of wonders with data I hope it's very clear for this section we'll catch you in the next lecture thank you